Hey, what's up? It's me here today. I'm going to be reviewing the Xiaomi Mi 11T Pro. You know, there has been lots of rumors about this phone going around for a long, 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 long time. And finally, it's on my hands right now. And special thanks to my friend Simi for lending me this phone. If you haven't subscribed to her channel, please check out her channel. Link is in the description. Without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Again, the packaging here, we see the 108 megapixel Archer Kidier camera logo. That means, okay, another phone with the 108 megapixel camera. And then the Mi logo. Now also the phone was tuned by Hummer Carlin, as like, you know, most of Mi 11 phones. Ooh, with easy access to, Google, to the Google apps you use most. I don't know why, shall we put this here, obviously, it's, are you are you are you are you mocking Huawei or something? That's not right. Hey, that's not right. All right, let's open the box. So on the first layer, we see if you are a Xiaomi fan, if you are using Xiaomi phone, definitely this is not unfamiliar with you. A pin, and we also have some purple work that you are never gonna read. Anyway, and also we have a pretty soft case. Soft, soft. Then we have the phone, Mi 11T Pro. Let me walk you through the key specs that's on this phone. 108 megapixel pro grade camera, ultra wide and telemacro lenses. The second is 120 watt Xiaomi hyper charge. Guys, check this out. 120 watt hyper chart a long lasting a 5000 milliamp battery holy shit 5000 milliamp now this is 120 hertz amlet dolby vision supported dual speakers sounded by harman Kardon and flagship qualcomm snapdragon 888 leading 5 nanometer processor with dual 5 man just checking the specs, you know, this is just another flagship phone. And this Xiaomi Mi 11T Pro. And I just can't wait to check it out more. Down, we have the 120 watt fast charger. It's a huge one and it's, to be honest, it's uh, quite a heavy. And also, I guess we have a cable, but Currently, I didn't see any cable inside. Maybe simply just forgot, you know, put the cable inside. Anyway, let's just move to the phone. First, let's worry, let's check out the design. Right on top, we have the infrared blaster and also the Harman Kardon logo. And then the speaker, and this is uh, the noise canceling mic. Okay, move to the right, we see the volume rocker and also the power key. That's also the fingerprint scanner. Moving to the bottom, we have the speaker, type C port, and another noise canceling mic. And if you're wondering what the SIM card is, here you go. Okay, we have the SIM card one and the SIM card two. And uh, seems it doesn't support SD card expansion. And move to the back, we have the camera module. I will list the information on the screen. You can check it out. The MIUI version is 12.5.3 stable. And we have 256 gigs of storage. And Android version is 11. All specs, 8 gigs of RAM and CPU is Octa Core Max 2.84 gigahertz. It doesn't have too much information here. Let's check the Android benchmark and this is it if you're interested to know, and that's definitely a not bad score for a, a middle range or even for some high-end phones. And if you're curious to know how does it sound, here it is.
last, let's check out the camera performance. I went out to shoot several photos with it. To be honest, I'm really impressed with the quality and especially it supports 4K stabilization. <laughs> I've had the Mi 11T Pro for a few days and to be honest, my first impression is rather positive. First of all, of course, it's a solid flagship phone. It has all those what you would expect from a 2021 uh, flagship phone, like 120 watt fast charging, 108 megapixel camera, and the Snapdragon 888. I mean, that's, that's amazing. So you wouldn't be surprised if it has a smooth gaming experience, smooth camera experience, and every uh, and software experience. Yeah, I mean, it's basically a flagship phone. A second, I guess it's the price. Currently, I don't know the price, but as always, Xiaomi will not bump up the price that crazily, like, you know, some big brands. So if you are looking for the budget, solid flagship phone that's going to last for years i guess the mi 11t pro is the right one for you but if you're looking for lightweight 5g phone that's also has a decent performance then the mi 11 light 5g is good for you which i've just done the video you can check it out all right that's the video a special thanks to my friend Simi for lending me this phone. Please check out her channel if you haven't. Link is in the description and don't forget to subscribe to mine as well. I'm Simi and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.